For years, booleans have been banned in my classrooms. The false sense of hope that it gives students who have used it to carve out intricate shapes, only to find out that it's impossible to edit, frustrating to UV map, rejected by game engines, and when you try to smooth it, it looks like something Bart Simpson made in that Harry Potter episode. When your model is all faces with more than four sides, it's broken forever. Every moment I live is agony. But not anymore. Maya 2020 has released a pair of life-changing tools, the Remesh tool, which fills in these polygonal nightmares with triangles, and the Retopologize tool, which seems to rebuild the entire shape using only four-sided faces. Edge loops and bevels can easily be added, and when used with the Boolean Union tool, your geometry is watertight with no intersecting, meaning that it can be 3D printed. So here's how it's done. First, select the two shapes that you want to boolean. The order that you select them in is important. First, select the shape that you want to have cut out and then the shape that you want to cut out with. You'll never remember that. So just say the phrase ice cream scoop in your head. First, select the ice cream, then select the scoop and then boolean and set it to difference. I'm just going to do that with my geometry here using a mixture of difference to cut the shapes out and union to join them together. Once your geometry is full of disgusting faces with more than four sides, you're ready to remesh. Your remesh and retopologize buttons are on the poly shelf or in the mesh menu. If you have Maya 2019 on a PC and can't see them, you can type in the commands poly remesh and poly retopo into the mel script area at the bottom with the capital r's and hit enter but if you're in maya 2020 first do remesh which is helpfully positioned before the retopologize tool here on the shelf and here in the mesh menu now go to your attribute editor and adjust the collapse threshold to the lowest poly count you can without distorting the actual shape. Now retopologize and adjust the target face count to your liking so that it does not distort the shape. You now have quite a few unneeded edge loops that don't help define the shape. To get rid of them quickly, go to Mesh Reduce. I usually set it to 50 or to get it to remove less lines, I might bring it down to 20 in this case. I would avoid manually deleting edges as much as you can as you don't know where Maya might be using them around the corner. We're now ready to modify the geometry. I would recommend deleting history now to increase the speed and performance and stability going forward. If you try to add or remove edge loops before deleting history, you'll find that there's a lot of lag. After deleting history, it's pretty much instant. Let's add some bevels. Select all the hard edges at the same time. If that sounds like a pain, then just run this quick script that I've linked to in the description below that automatically selects the hard edges in your object. There's a video for this in the description below as well. Once all your hard edges are selected, bevel it using the bevel button or control B. If you can't see your bevel, you can overdrive the value beyond one like I'm doing here. In this case, I increase it all the way to 10. Then hit three to smooth preview. If you feel that you need to harden the edges further, then increase the segments of the poly bevel in your attribute editor to two or three. And this is the end result. This for me is absolutely life-changing and I hereby declare Booleans legal. legal.